Lesson 10 discusses if a if a number sentence can be true or false. So a number sentence is just a mathematical statement that has an equal sign, and we can test if it is true or false. And a number sentence has to be numbers. It cannot be variables. So if you had something like x plus 1 equals x times x plus 1, let's do this. x squared plus 1 equals x times x plus 1. What's happening here is that this cannot be a number sentence because there is no value for x. We don't know the value for x. We can't figure it out. So if they gave us a condition, like if they said let x equal 3, well then we absolutely can test this number sentence to see if it's true or false. So we plug in 3 everywhere we see an x. And if I compute this, 3 squared is 9, and 9 plus 1 is 10, and 3 plus 1 is 4, and 4 times 3 is 12. So we can immediately see that 10 is not equal to 12, so we can tell that this statement is a false statement. And sometimes it will be asked what number would make the equation true. And that's just going to take a little bit of play. We can pick a number that maybe we can play around with and, and take a guess and see what number would make it true. So let me just do um, maybe one or two more examples of how we check to see if a number sentence is true or false. So let's try this. is a pretty easy one. So 18 plus 7 is it equal to 50 over 2. So 50 over 2 is 25 and 18 plus 7 is also 25. So what I ask when you're checking your statements is that you do one side and the other side at the same time and you double check as you go. If they are not equal, you put a not equal sign. If they are equal, you can just put a check and um, write true. And let's try another one. How about okay? So seeing if this is really cool because this is the, it looks like the associative property. It looks like we're moving the parentheses, so that would be the associative property. But we know that and we can only move the parentheses if everything's multiplication or if everything's addition. And because in the first statement you have addition and you're multiplying by 4, it's not the same as the addition and multiplying by 4 over here. You cannot use associative property. They either all have to be addition or they all have to be multiplication. So I already know what's going to be false. But let me show, give you an example of how we would check. So I'm going to start in the parentheses because that's always my first step. Remember when we check, we need to use PEMDAS. So 123 plus 54 is 177 times 4. And again, we need to do parentheses first. So 54 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Carry the 1. 4 times 5 is 20 plus 1 more is 21. So over here, I'm just going to go off to the side real quick, do this, math, 28, 29, 30, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I'll end up with 708 on this side. And if I line up my addition over here, I'm going to get 339. So since this is false and those are not equal, I'm going to put not equal signs. 
because we're checking. We don't know for sure until we're all done if it's equal or not. So if it's not equal, we have to show that.